In the midst of a presidential election cycle, seemingly constant global tensions, and technology forcing us to face some of our biggest fears as we move toward our biggest feats, one gaming experience puts regular people in the driver's seat of the world. Being a president is really nice. And if the issues of today seem hopeless enough, you're in for a wild ride. Welcome to the year 2020, where everything's basically the same as it is today, except aliens exist, and they're about to cause a global crisis. I'm Chris Raditz, and we at Brick TV have gotten exclusive access to Mega Games Watch the Skies. Another one in Australia. We don't know what we're talking about. We don't know what we're talking about. Just capture the people. For what? Some ancient weaponry? The more that they give, the more the more effective we can be. Worst case scenario, we all die. We have a solution. This woman is representing control, a job title which, in a game built on miscommunication, is a bit of a stretch. She takes a long time to explain the rules, but here's the gist. Still lost? Okay. Basically, 50 plus people come together to don roles as world leaders and over the course of seven hours attempt to save humanity as we know it. Simple. And then there's the Vatican. Uh, well, uh, you know, I'm just like anybody else. I put on my uh, slippers one slipper at a time. I don't know either. Each team is made up of five players. Chief of Defense, UN Delegate, Chief Scientist, Deputy Head of State, and Head of State. I don't, I don't have uh, an opener. Well, then oh, that's not very uh, Anything is if we try hard enough, I suppose. Yeah. But, uh, France no. decided their mission was to sustain peace. And with all this food and making some early allies, they were off to a good start. And so were the games. In the science room, they roll dice and do research. In the military, they move troops, quell riots, and fight the occasional monster. The UN is where most of the role playing takes place. Like that time nanobot technology went rogue and they had to decide how to fix it. So obviously, the UK has been affected by this fallout. You believe that we have found a way of, of using radiation, a harmless radiation, to human that affects the nanobots? Uh, I don't know any radiation that's harmless, and I'm not a scientist. But one thing is perhaps um, some sort of development for a slight light EMP, electromagnetic pulse to help disable the electronic equipment. Um, Radiation EMP? <laughs> Those definitely won't backfire. You know, some of these people are neuroscientists and mathematicians, and up there they're just hopeless. <laughs> it's crazy. But maybe that's good for me. You know, in journalism, somebody once said that if it bleeds, it goes before all the other stuff. Speaking of blood, there is a limit of the blood Why? I don't know either. It, is, it seems to have medicinal purposes. Oh, can you use that on nanobots? We believe you can. Yes. We would love that. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm used to conversing in Latin, so I made it clear. <laughs> Well, uh, okay. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to intercept you real quick. Just quick word. Uh, we're going to have to go to a private place now. Rewind. A big part of this game is not letting your hypothetical citizens panic. There's a whole terror tracking system thingy. So if word of the aliens were released early, what do you think is going to happen? Control has just informed me that France and China, they had a tech trade. It went completely south. They totally screwed it up. Humans have obtained alien technology and so now I'm gonna go sit with the two heads of state and let them know they have a huge choice to make either to kill their own citizens or the alien cat is out of the space bag huh. so I know how China feels about that you do know how China feels about that. <laughs> what's the position of China? We, we have billions of people uh, and the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few and I hope France will I gotta talk to my team. All right, I'm gonna talk to them. Let me, <laughs> let me know what your decision is one way or the other. Absolutely. <laughs> I need Liz. Yes. I need everybody. But just as President Pelton was bringing his team together to discuss the potential murder of his citizens. Can I have everybody in the main room? We're going to have an announcement, please. 
Can I have everybody in the main room for a global broadcast? We're doing a, a massive international announcement, so somebody might have already. All right, the aliens are announced, then, yeah. Sisters and brothers of planet Earth, to the poor and huddled masses I speak. We have returned. These guys in the aviators with the third eye stickers, these are the aliens. For the most part, their game is pretty top secret and changes every time a Mega Games is organized. Today, their objective is to mine the resources of this planet, but universal laws prevent the genocide of any species. Since they can't, they have to trick the Earthlings into destroying themselves. Always a loophole. All right, it is time to dodge a bullet. Dodged a bullet indeed. No need for a cover-up now. The rest of the game flew by. Here are some major plot points. Everyone hates the U.S. I this round just how much the U.S. gets per round in income. Uh, and it is more than double what we get. So you can certainly afford it. But they can handle the problem instead of the U.S. moving in their troops to try and stop citizens on the street. There's no citizens. It's not like they're insurgents. We have it had to be unanimous vote. And again, the U.S. and the U.K. voted against it. People stop trusting this guy. Well, of course, my belief in God is unshakable. So far, the back is screwed all of us, I think. Yeah. Or we think that they have. Uh, the UN does not recognize the Pat Father. Uh, <laughs> France discovers a way to take an alien saucer, but they don't do it because they're keeping the peace. Um, we're a peaceful nation? Oh, yeah, and then this. I have bad news and weird news. Bad news is your income levels is. Your Japan bankrupts only to become controlled by an AI system they created earlier in the game. And remember how everyone hated the US? In turn 9, this guy practically predicts the reason the aliens are there in the first place. Can I just, uh, Go ahead. Yeah. something else that could be going on? Three and a half minutes. <clears throat> They're mining our planet for resources. They're digging deep into the Antarctic to find some element that they have discovered that we don't know about that's going to fuel them. It's They're fine. Turning it's fine. If if they're just using these monsters and these plagues and everything as a way to trick us, they're, they got us. And then... Somebody what's somebody's launching, somebody's launching news? news. <laughs> we! The Ru Russia. Russia. Mother Russia! We knew who? <laughs> just nuke the UK! The terror track soared when a nuke from Russia destroyed the UK. Russia pleaded they had nothing to do with the launch. Global panic came within just 10 points of total chaos. This is crazy! Which would end the game for everyone. But at a summit with leadership from our guy Pelton, every nation in the game agreed to a nuclear disarmament. To a better world. To a better world. And it worked. As the day came to a close, more secrets were revealed and mistakes cost many lives and futures. However, Despite my expectations, the people involved in this game found a way, if only for a moment, to save the world. If that's not hopeful, I don't know what is.